is very anti-climatic because it's been quite the day. Basically, our ferry, which is how we've been getting from city to city, got canceled, but no one told us. So we went to the ferry and that's when we found out. So we had to act very quickly um, to see what we were going to do next. Because basically, if we waited for the next ferry, it was going to be four hours later, which means we would have got here around like nine or something. So we ended up booking an entire flight to be able to make it at a reasonable time. It's very New York City-esque. Like this is what it looks like outside. So our hotel also gives New York, it's tiny. My bathroom sink is literally right there. The shower is right over there. You know, just keeping it cute, keeping it quaint. Just the basics, just the, the bare necessities, no access to the beach or anything like that. We've been spoiled. That's really the problem. We've just been really spoiled with Mykonos and also in San Arini. Everything was like just really nice and polished. I don't know. We only have this little like section of tonight. Right now it's 7.45 and then we have all day tomorrow and we head out the next day. I think we're headed to go get some dinner. Everyone is hungry. I'll probably get hungry when I get there. I feel like I'm more tired than anything. Like I'm exhausted, okay? Like always, I'm always tired. So I think we're gonna go get some food. Welcome to my studio apartment here in Athens. I decided since today is our last day and our only full day here in Athens that I'm not doing any of the touristy things. We were going to go to Acropolis, which I feel like is the number one thing you have to see while you're here, which I'm like, I get it. But at the last minute, I was like, I'm actually not going to go do that. Guess what I'm doing instead? Vintage shopping, secondhand shopping. That's more my vibe. I think if we had more time here, I definitely would do all of the touristy things. But since we're on such a limited time schedule, we have to get to what matters and secondhand clothing is always gonna matter to me. I just got done doing my makeup. This is gonna be the fit. I've been saving this outfit for here cause it gives very, I don't really have the language, but I feel like this outfit matches here. This is like a halter top kind of shirt that I thrifted. I also thrifted these shorts. I think I got these. I kind of feel like I got these when I was in Tulum one time from a vintage store there. I'm wondering if I need to iron these. They are a lot more wrinkled than I was expecting, but I don't want to have to call down. Like I feel like that's just another step to have to call down for an iron or something. They do look pretty bad, but it could be worse. It could be so much worse. I really love this top, but I never ever wear I think it's so pretty I'm gonna do my regular shoes I've been wearing these literally every day I think I'm always so surprised by how comfortable these are I got these from Goodwill for like ten dollars maybe 15 I don't know but I think they're mango it says M and G on the bottom and the only thing I can think of is like mango I don't know I was gonna wear this purse that I picked up from TJ Maxx but I can't decide if I should just return it I got it for a few outfits, like this would be one. I think this would be really cute, but I also have this linen dress that I feel like it would be really cute with. But now that we're at the end of the trip, I haven't worn either of these things. I'm almost just like, do I need to complement it with this bag? Like, I don't really have to. I can get my money back. All $25. I think I'm just going to keep with my Madewell bag. 
I thrifted this one back in Atlanta, maybe like two years ago. Oh, and I got this necklace when we were walking around yesterday. I paid too much for it, so I'm kind of embarrassed, but it's a cute necklace, okay. I thought the little pearl detail was just really nice. I don't know that it would look good with like this high neck of a top, but let's see. Something also that's so funny about me buying this necklace is that I had this one on at the time. So like, girl, two heart necklaces, are we for real? But I really do like this little like pearl detail. It just adds something. But when I tell you this feels like the cheapest necklace ever, like it's so lightweight and like you can just tell the materials that it was not worth what I paid. It said like 38 on the tag and that was a jump scare. I looked at the guy and I was like, can you do like 30 or something? And another guy came out of nowhere and he was like, we can do 30 euros if you pay cash. And I was like, dang it, I don't have any more euros left. So I told him I didn't have any cash and he was like, okay, 35 uh, on credit. And I was like, $35? <sighs> if I buy something today, I was just thinking, I think this will be my first time buying something all trip. Cause even this necklace, Jalen got me this necklace. So technically, I did not buy this. I need to be heading out the door. My mom's waiting on me. Me and her are the only people who didn't go to like the museum stuff today. So I told her what I was getting into and she's also a secondhand girly. So she also enjoys a good secondhand shindig. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. All set, ready to go. The sun looks blazing outside. I think we're starting off at this place called Vintage 45. When we were pulling up to our hotel yesterday, we like passed this place. So I'm pretty sure it's like right next door. So hopefully it's a real store and not just a random store that has the word vintage in it because you know they do be doing that. But anyways, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> It didn't last very long in the heat. We're getting some pasta. I've sent out a call to the rest of the, the group and now they're all coming here. I think we've been burnt out on Greek food a little bit. So when I passed a pasta place, fresh pasta, everyone seems to be intrigued. Cause I'm starving. I couldn't eat the breakfast at the hotel because I'm burnt out also on breakfast. I don't eat breakfast at home. This hotel we're at now was very minimal on the selections. So that again, didn't help. I was just like, Mm -mm, can't do it. So now I'm starving. Oh, and the last store we just went to was closed. There was a man getting on his motorcycle or something. He thinks they probably closed because it's so hot. I guess that's like a common thing. If it's too hot, the shop owners were closed. Smart. Very smart because I wouldn't want to wait in the heat either. Hoping that someone comes by. It's too much. It's too hot out here. We got some carbonara, some bolognese, and a Caesar salad. Here's the rest of the family, following suit. Oh. We've recruited them. Welcome to Jalen's food hosting show. On this episode, uh, is it smacking or is it lacking? First we're gonna try, which one is this? Bolognese. Do not eat all of it though. Bolognese, is it smacking or is it lacking? It has a little bit of cinnamon in it. Smacking. Carbonara. The ham or the bacon on there? Smack it. Smack tabulous. I'm ready for a haul. I'm so hot, I'm gonna pass out. It has just been confirmed that there is a heat wave. So much so that the stores are closing. Anyway, I got this at the first store we went to. It's by oh, yeah. Nitro, N-I-G-R-O. He said this is real leather. He said it's a really good brand. 
Even if it's not a good brand, I actually don't care. I thought it was pretty nice. It's clean on the inside, well kept. Love that. He gave us some postcards. And I also got a bracelet from in there. I do feel like I overpaid on this bracelet. This was 12 euros, but it's really pretty. Like I think it'll be a nice texture versus my like plain gold bracelets. And that is the end of my haul. If I could have made it to that last store, maybe I would have more to show, but they closed it. I think we might go back out later after it cools down a little bit back to the little shopping area. But for right now, I'm trying to cool off. The AC in our rooms are like capped at 25, which is like 75 Fahrenheit. I'm unwell. <sighs> in the little city, the little touristy spots, looking for some tourist gifts for family back home. So we have come to the perfect spot. They duped me into going into that museum. They said we were coming shopping. Next thing I know, we're at the Acropolis Museum, the same museum that I tried to avoid this morning. They duped me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Hello, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Hello, Joe Biden. Tomorrow, so I'm doing all of my packing, which is relatively easy because I feel like I finally learned my lesson with not unpacking everything with every city that we go to. So by the time we got to Mykonos, I was already done with that whole unpacking thing. So I'm really just trying to find a place for my new purse and my bags and stuff. But for the most part, this is pretty simple. And this is the official end of all things Greece. I'm still going to be posting a lot on Instagram because I have more than enough photos to share and stuff to put on my stories that I'm really excited about. This was a really fun trip. Shout out to the birthday boy for inviting me. Thanks. Do you have anything you'd like to say? My statement is, Greece owes me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.